Okay, uh, I have here a uh, Korg M1 synthesizer, and I am going to show you in 2022 how to um, install the preset, the presets, the factory presets into the M1. Now, this video, videos uh, exist already on YouTube elsewhere about how to do this, and I followed those videos to do it, but there was a problem that none of those videos mentioned that basically I couldn't figure out until I found a post online somewhere on the web, one little comment somebody made that solved my problem. So I'm going to explain what the problem was, and I'm going to explain what the solution is. So if you have one of these and you're using a Mac like I am, uh, you might encounter the problem. So let's go from the beginning. Uh, first of all, I don't have the I don't have the cards, so I'm doing this through MIDI. So I actually bought a MIDI cable that I didn't have on uh, Amazon. This was about twenty five bucks, uh, March and April April of twenty twenty two. So I figured, okay, let me try this, and it's a uh, MIDI to USB C goes into my computer. So that's the first thing I did. Then I followed the uh, instructions online to uh, get the sound in. I downloaded the patches, okay? You go to Korg and they and you can get the patches and you want that little file right there. M1 pre LD I guess, preload SYX. That's the file you want. Okay? It's going to uh, come in a little zip uh, folder, you want that one. You're going to drag it into this program right here, which is uh, uh, SysX Librarian. You download that also. Download the Sys, uh, librarian, SysX Librarian, open it, download the presets, and drag it in here after you're already connected USB to the back of your uh, synth. Now, MIDI out gets plugged into MIDI in, and MIDI in gets plugged into MIDI out. That's very important. I first did it the other way around, and I was getting nothing. So remember, out to in, in to out, into USB. Until this point, all good, right? So then what's what you're supposed to do is you got to come over here back to the... Uh, you got to come back to the... Um, synth and by the way it's already loaded in there that's why you see universe you don't see that when it's not loaded in and you got to go to global and then you got to go through the options here and you got to go all the way to uh let's see here you got to go all the way to midi global first of all make sure you're on channel one that should be there already and then here in filtering, MIDI filtering, chances are, see it's enabled, it's supposed to be enabled, otherwise it won't work. I changed that before because when I when you load it, uh, it's basically going to be set uh, on disabled, DIS. You don't want that. So you click on it. If it says DIS here, you got to click on here and change it right here to disabled. All right. Um, so let me see here. So if I click on this here, see how it went to disabled? We don't want that. We want enabled, okay? Um, so enabled here, and then we go to uh, memory protect, program memory protect. That's supposed to be off internal. And combination, also make sure that's off, all right? So that's it for MIDI. So you, so following the instructions online on the videos online and stuff, and even from Korg, that's all you need to do. And then what you need to do is you need to come back over here. And after you drag this file into this window, okay, you hit the play button. The play button then transfers this, the patches, into your M1 and you're happy to go. Problem was when I did that, I got nothing. I got it, it transferred, 
but I got nothing, no sounds at all. As a matter of fact, I had like some bad sounds to begin with and this made it go to zero. So I started trying to figure out what's going on. What am I doing wrong? Couldn't figure it out. Spent about a half hour to an hour searching the internet. And then I found this comment from this, this guy. He deserves a, a, a six pack. This guy says, here's a tip. If you are on a Mac using SysX uh, Sys librarian to load the, 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 the patch, right? What you have to do is you got to go into the SysX preferences and you got to set the buffer to 256. Do not use a default buffer size. The M1 will choke and the data will be corrupted and useless. I also slowed down the transfer speed to 64 just to be safe. So I saw that and I said, okay, here's my last ditch effort to try to fix this problem because uh, I couldn't figure it out. So I went to the preferences right here and right here in transmit speed, the default was default. So as he rec recommended, I change it to 256. And over here, uh, in the um, transmit speed, it was at 100%. I changed it like he did to 64%. And then I closed this. And then I went here and I hit play. So that when I hit play, this file gets transferred through MIDI into your synthesizer. So I did that. And as soon as I did that, it took about 20, 30 seconds to transmit. All the sounds were there. Everything was working. So this guy right over here saved the day. Whoever you are, thank you very much. It was 10 years ago. Actually, no, it was uh, 2021 that he posted this. And had he not posted this, I would have no idea how to fi fix this situation. I would have still been trying to figure it out. Some people here were saying that you need a specific cable from Roland. I think that's all nonsense. It was specifically this issue right here. So once, um, once that was done, all of a sudden, uh, we went from gibberish over here to universe, which is the first preset. Uh, it's not plugged into, it's not plugged in, so we can't really, can't really hear it. Um, yeah, and that's it. Um, that's what you have to do to uh, get the patches in. So if you encounter problems uh, where you're getting no sound at all, then uh, that is probably what you have to do. You have to go into the uh, Sysex or however you pronounce that um, program, and you got to change that buffer speed and the transmission speed. You got to lower them so that the information gets fed into the M1 properly. All right, so just to wrap up, this guy here, I bought him about a week or two ago. Uh, got it from some guy uh, here in New Jersey that was selling it. I don't even know if he knew that he didn't have the original sounds in here. I mean, this is a musician guy, and but he was like, you know, and he wanted to unload it for like $250. And we're talking, it's 2022 right now. These things are hot right now, just like the Juno 106 that I have, which I also got as a bargain. Um, in the end, as soon as this guy posted it online on Facebook, he started getting a bunch of inquiries. And he's like, well, you know what? Um, he's like, I'm getting a lot of inquiries. I think this is worth more than, than 250. Uh, so I want 275, he said. So I actually said to him, I go, you know what? because I knew that a lot of people were going to want this guy. I go, I'll give you $300 cash if I can go pick it up right now. And he said, okay. So I went over to his house. He has a nice studio set up, lots of gear, lots of guitars. And I checked this out and I sold it. Uh, I, I, I mean, he sold it. But, all, but the sounds that he had in here weren't right. They weren't the real sounds. I don't know what, how they got in there or what have you. But anyway, I changed the battery, as you saw in the beginning of the video, and uh, and now I then went to figure out how to get the sound, the patches in, 
and I had that one little hiccup, which thankfully that one guy uh, posted about, and now I have everything here. Let me see. Uh, let me see if I can turn the sound on so that I could just play the sound real quick. That's universe. So as you can see, um, that's what it took uh, to make it work. All right. So I hope this helps. I, I'm posting this because that one guy posting this little tip really, really, really saved me. Without that information, I'd still be fiddling around, wondering if the cable was bad or if the software is the wrong software. All it was was the buffer speed and the transmission speed. Lower them, follow the rest of the instructions, make sure that everything is set properly right here like I showed you and like it's on other videos and you're good to go. All right. So if you want to sell me one of these for $250, let me know. I'll buy it. All right. <laughs> Thanks so much and enjoy.